Hey everybody, Dr. Dust here, Chief Research Officer at Cloverleaf. Today we're going to talk about 360 degree assessments, a really popular tool for helping make sure that people increase self-awareness and productivity at work. What are 360 degree assessments? 360 degree assessments are when, as an individual, you fill out information about your personal characteristics, whether it be traits, behaviors, cognitions, etc., and then other people, such as your peers, your colleagues, your subordinates, your superiors, also fill in information out about you, and you can compare the differences between yourself as well as these aggregated ratings. There's two different theories for why 360 degree assessments are helpful. First, self-leadership theory suggests that when you engage in this 360 degree process, it increases self-awareness. You have a better understanding of your personal characteristics and how you come across to others. When you have a higher level of self-awareness, it can increase the likelihood of what's called self-regulation, where in the moment you're behaviorally adapting in ways that are the most beneficial given the circumstances that you find yourself in. The second way that 360 degree assessments can be helpful is for figuring out what's called person environment fit. To the degree that you can understand your personal characteristics through 360 degree assessments, you can then align that with the context or the environment to ensure that there is a fit in how you're operating and what the needs are of that specific environment, which then leads to better outcomes. So there's four different things that you should be evaluating when trying to decide which 360 degree assessment makes the most sense for you. First is characteristics. You might have different things that you can evaluate, such as traits, leadership behaviors, different types of team roles or leader roles. All of those have different implications for what we're going to learn about ourselves. The second thing is looking at comparisons. You can compare to the aggregated ratings of your team members. You could compare to key informants, such as a manager or your manager's manager, or even get some feedback from subordinates or direct reports. All of those have different implications from understanding yourself versus others. The third is the gap analysis, understanding what exactly you said versus what other people said and looking at those evaluations to see how much difference is there. Sometimes that difference is meaningful, sometimes it is just insightful, other times it might not mean much at all. You also have to look at the degree to which there's diversity of the ratings of all those other individuals. The fourth item is what type of insights are actually being offered. So a lot of times it's some type of description of the dimensions that you're rating, sometimes it's a practical insight on what to do with it, and then really important is the context of whether or not those insights make sense or what you should potentially be doing different given who you're talking to, what you're doing, and what your job is. All of these are important categories to consider when evaluating those assessments. There's a variety of different things that you can do as a coach or a consultant to ensure that 360s are helping your clients. Number one, you can be the one that is actually administering all of these assessments in a way that is efficient. It's a lot of information flying between different people, all that aggregation and all those logistics, you can add value by being the orchestrator of all of that information. The other is making sure that you are the one that helps set the goals. What's the purpose of engaging in this assessment? What type of goal setting process should we use to ensure that we're improving, whether it be in the moment or over the long term? Another thing that's really helpful is that coaches can ensure that there's a lack of bias within the ratings. When the coach takes control on inviting individuals to participate, they can ensure that there's diversity as well as from a variety of different people where you have less or more familiarity or, pretend, or potentially being more or less friendly with the individual that is getting the information back. So coaches have many roles that they can play in ensuring that 360 degree assessments are very helpful. If you like this video, please like or subscribe to the channel. If you want more information or if you'd like a free trial, go to cloverleaf.me. Thank you.